doing one camera on top of the other. You can almost see me here. So here. Is that good? That's pretty good. All right. So at the top of the stop it. Just leave the camera there. Okay. Don't touch that tripod. Right, so now, and I bumped this tripod, so I got to move this just a tad. Come on. There. Ah. Is that close enough for government work or whatever work I do? Here, wait. Come on. Just try to get it in one place and let it stay there and then use the remote control. This thing is so... Come on. Come on. Whatever. That's close. I don't care. That's, that's good enough. You only see this this one time anyway. Alright, so. I already started that. Oh, here. So it is... Hey, is this time of day right here? Will it focus? What time is it? It is 1938, 27 December 2020. I haven't uploaded the other two videos, so you haven't seen that yet, but you will. I guarantee it. So now, this is the start picture. Um, I got this a while ago, several months ago. I just have been so busy doing so many other things to get this repaired. But... I did an unboxing video today, which I have yet to upload, and then I did a, because that was a, well, you'll understand once you see the video, then I did a video of what was wrong with it because I was able to play it after I got it together somewhat, and this is the final video, and now I want to make sure that I let you all know that I've got a stereo microphone here, so this is one channel. And that's the other channel. So one channel and the other channel. Okay, it's looking, it's going good on there. I forgot to turn off the TV set in the background. Let me go do that. So I can have absolute silence. Just so many things to do. Okay. Watching some football game with the news. Now, where was I? Okay, I got that going. Got that going. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is at the top of the screen. Here's the radio down here for the Facebook people. But for the YouTube people, it's just the screen of, the, of this darn thing. Okay, so here it is. This is a Toshiba 8930. It's claimed to fame as having a digital clock. Right there. So that's what it does. Whoopee. Okay, it's got two VU meters that can be changed to operate. It's got a standard tape deck with the music quick search sound system or whatever that's called. Alright, so there it is. That's the front. This is the top. Okay, once again, this has stereo wide, stereo and mono, CRL2 or normal, battery tune or VU meters, auxiliary input or line in if you will. Radio and then tape, bass, treble, balance, volume, band, power button, which means that you can play with the tape deck off, but you can use the tape deck as a timer to turn the radio off. You understand that? Okay. <coughs> uh, that's just a flash picture to show that this has had the little plastic tab broke off, so... Uh, you just have to operate that way. That's you, you're stuck with it. Nothing you can do unless you can find another switch or get a whole another radio. This is the input end here, which has got. I didn't take a very clear picture, but these are external speakers. This is the battery compartment for the uh, for the digital clock. Your microphone input, your ground, your auxiliary input, your left and right out, and the end of the radio. Okay. This is a. Okay. It says here. Uh, like external, whatever. Okay, speakers, left and right. Okay, this was the whole issue right here, but we'll get to that in a moment. So here's just another picture like that. I got to race along here because that's the AC input, which was uh, missing in the, in this case. We'll get to that too. Here's another picture with a flash, just to see that hey, that's really something wrong there. <laughs> okay. There's the bottom just because we can and it has one. Alright, that's the full back of this. Okay, there's the battery compartment. It takes 8D batteries. And of course, here's the uh, 
you know, the description of made in Japan, so it's Toshiba, so it's a good one. Alright, that's what it looks like. Okay, then there's the front again, because I couldn't remember if I took a picture of the front. Okay, so now you take the, to take this thing apart, you need to take off the two screws there for the door, because this whole thing comes through the front panel. Alright, All right, there it is without it. Okay, this is the screws that came out. It came on there, one over here and one there, and that was it three screws. I ended up putting two screws back because this one wouldn't attach to anything, wouldn't screw into anything. Okay, so that's worthless. Here's the inside of it. Um, notice the uh, uh, the transformer was out of its case, which was off of the circuit board, which was not lined up with the hole. Okay, so have you ever had that happen? And that's it. And then here is uh, somebody nicely uh, wire taped these together that's not good and that was the issue because he had one channel out on the radio okay now when I got it like I said here's this issue so and then of course you you know when you unplug the speakers you take a picture so you know where this darn things go all right and then here's just um, oh I didn't do this let's see here what is this four max six watt normal four watt and 2.5 ohms. Wow, 2.5 ohms. What are the tweeters? I didn't even look. Might as well look while we're here because this. So they're 8 ohm, 3 watt, and that's all we know. Okay? Alright, so then that's that. I took a picture again of just the, you know, the botched uh, tape and twisted together stuff. Back at the transformer, okay? Uh, just that. That, taking pictures then this has an end cap that's the end cap and this is the iron core part of the transformer there are the windings and this is the bracket that holds it to the circuit board which then the circuit board is screwed down to the case of the thing so there's the screw holes like that here I'm putting the thing back on using that gentle delicate tool to re you know refix it with and more you know delicate tools for a delicate boom box just to repair that transformer. So finally got the transformer tabs back in place and you know squeezed it back down in and all that and got it looking like it was supposed to look. This is due to shipping. It was shipped or got banged or dropped or whatever, who knows. So here I went, there's a nice picture of where that goes and so then what I take this picture for? I don't know. Um, just here I'm diagnosing the issue with the radio. I got the radio to play in stereo with headphones on, but not, uh, but missing one channel coming through the speakers. Okay, that's anyway. So here I found the issue. The issue was the external speaker. The contacts were dirty in the external speaker contact. Okay, I don't know if you ever had that happen to you, but if the, if you have sound through the headphones in stereo, but not sound through the speakers, well, your sound goes from the input wires here to the headphones and then from the headphones to these out to your speakers. If these switches don't work because they intercede the sound coming from wherever then anyway that's, that's this this switch was bad no sound in one channel so that was the whole story so I cleaned that and you know you know it was just when you okay I'm showing here that when you when, see how this is closed and this is open? When you put this in, it transfers the sound from positive to the to this tab here. But when it's closed, it's, it's closed like that. So anyway, just you know, simple. Here I put my files through it. Now here I'm um, showing my uh, my skills with uh, what is this stuff? Uh, shrink wrap tubing. Okay. So you put the shrink wrap tubing on before you solder it together. Okay, you don't want to put it on after because that's just much harder. There's a soldering thing, a solder sucker, and all that stuff. Okay, so here we're just taking another picture I did of that. Yes, I soldered it. Yes, it's all nicely heat wrapped together. Yay, it's nice, pretty looking. Okay, so now we uh, we took more pictures here. What is this? I don't know. Um, more. Okay. Oh, this was okay. This little plastic tab right here is held in place by this screw which holds the tape deck in place. Okay, so it broke off. There's only three, there's only, 
okay, there's three screws that hold the tape deck in place. And one of them is that long screw that's supposed to screw from the back to the front through the whole thing. That's why they make it so cheap. Anyway, so, and it, it screws through this, screws through there, but the, uh, the, the anyway, it's just not going to work. It didn't work. Okay, so another, this is the recording bar switch. I cleaned that up. Okay, this is under the tape deck. Oh, yeah. I want to show you something. See, that's a, this is a belt. That's a square belt, but that is a flat belt driven thing. Here's the belt I took out. Okay, that's a little tiny square belt. See how that's a little tiny square? But this thing here is, well, let's see, I have to take another picture. Here's just a side view of that. Okay, yeah, here we go. That was. That's for a flat belt, and that was very dirty, so I had to clean that off, okay? That's the old belt I took out, nearly 5 inches. This is the one I put in, which is a 9.7 flat belt. See how flat that is? Good and flat? All right. There it is, nicely installed after it was nicely cleaned. I know you can't see underneath that, but who cares? I cleaned that, put it on there, and I took a bunch of pictures to show you how flat the belt is. Anyway, the belt... This kind of deck needs that belt because it's the only belt that's driven because the rest of it is gear driven underneath the mechanism, okay? Once again, a nice flat wide belt like it's supposed to have because it's got these big gears and another gear underneath it to turn all this other stuff that's all gear driven, right? Got it? Okay. And here we're putting it back together. Another picture of everything um, fixed, okay? That's the last picture. Again, yeah, that was the last picture. Okay, so now let me stop there. How much time have I used? 12 minutes. i got three minutes to play music. All right, so now wide this thing out, right? Wide that out all the way. 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes. Okay, great. So now, because this thing breaks into two files, when, whatever. So now let me, let me move the Facebook camera, which is not in stereo. Okay, it's not in stereo. But the YouTube people will be in stereo, right? Right? Okay, so let me move this because y'all are in stereo. Us. Okay, into issues with the other stuff. I don't care. You can bang all you want. Okay, so now here we go. If you flip this on, first you have to hit the power button. It was on. Okay. Put it on radio. Okay. And it's all about. I won't go with this side, back to there, back to here, back to there, and change the channel. Yes, thing for me is. Back over here. so busy we don't want to listen to it learn more about the hope you can have through so i just want to show you that So much for that. Now let's play a tape. Okay, so we hit, you know, I should have gotten my other tape, but hit play. It's a bad tape. What did I do? Do I have that tape handy? Uh, I can always misplace some tapes. That's not it. I get in trouble with that one. Well, okay. I really wanted to play. There it is. Okay, here we go. I want to play this because I can play this longer and give it to you in a different way. All right, so let me take this out. Eject. Take that out. Put this in. Hit play. And then... anymore, but
but the base that's no no treble and no bass. Here's bass and all the treble. tape because that tape has bass notes as well as having stereo sound in it and so on and so forth. And I'm about to go over is it 16 minutes and 4 seconds. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Okay. Let me discombobulate that. Because this will break into two files and I don't want it to do so. But uh, just, yeah, so 616. So it looks like that on top. If you didn't already see, good day, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.